Hey there, and welcome back to Factorio Tightening the Belt Mega Base Guide. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Uh, we are back here, and the module base is pretty much entirely done. I didn't actually turn it fully on yet, because I wanted to wait until we're on episode for that. But I got most stuff set up on the last stream. And uh, if you do want to check that out, I did upload it, and it's actually in the playlist. Or you can check it out on my Twitch, which is always linked in my video descriptions. Uh, but we have... Uh, three copper smelters going, two iron smelters going, and then uh, we got the oil thing almost... Well, it's all set up. It just needs uh, the heavy oil to start, which again, I'm waiting till now. Uh, green circuits are going, uh, but you know, this isn't going because there's no red, because there's no plastic, and because there's no sulfuric acid. So that's pretty much that. We did also upgrade power a bit. I added another section here. It should be good. Um, we don't have enough modules to fully module everything there, but uh, we will we will get around to that. And then also, uh, someone commented on the stream pod and, and had a good point. They mentioned that previously, uh, Zuri and I had figured it out that uh, in terms of like, or Zuri primarily had figured it out, that in terms of like what you should be productivity moduling first in terms of like the highest or the quickest payoff, and it's most cost effective and efficient. Um, smelters are actually one of the worst. And someone questioned why did I put productivity modules in the smelters when like one of the best things to do is like blue circuits or red circuits or whatever. Um, part of the reason is that I uh, to, to get this full blue belt like this, we need productivity modules in the, in the furnaces and I just don't have enough to module everything yet. And then also throwing productivity modules in this stuff like throws off the build. Um, now this one already does need productivity modules and we got some of it. We just didn't have enough um, So I wanted the full belts of plate uh, To feed this stuff and then I'll productivity this as we get it. So the first module thing we're going to build here is productivity. So with that Let's go ahead and go down and uh, and start and start building stuff out. So uh, We just need to turn on the oil and then I'm going to build a module build and we, like I said We're going to start with productivity, and it's probably just going to be very similar to this build here um, and just doing productivity. So it may be bigger uh, depending what this can actually support. We'll have to kind of see as we go. But uh, yeah, so this thing is pretty much all set up and we also cleared out some biters over to like the uh, the southeast and such because they were uh, attacking this, which is a big no-no. Um, and I did put some lasers too. Uh, you guys had some good comments on the last episode of this about you know putting some lasers down. I didn't put them everywhere yet, but I have kind of surrounded the main points, main entry points here. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. And I switch out the pumps. This is another important thing to note. Uh, so I changed this based on some suggestions. So what we have here is this, all the heavy flows into a tank first. And then it goes, and then there's a pump like right away that pumps it out into here, which should give priority to these. And then we have another pump pumping out the other direction with the condition of it can only work if heavy oil is more than 500. So this is just going to give priority to this system uh, until, you know, and then once there's 500 or more, it'll send the excess through the cracking. Uh, and based on how this works, then it the ratios don't matter as much here like that I talked about last episode, but I still like to build in the ratios if possible. Uh, so that's kind of why we did that. So let's go ahead and power this guy on. And uh, this is obviously very temporary, this one. So this is going to get started. And you can see this guy's taking in the oil or the coal and stuff. Now, that was only enough to fire up a few of them. Um, but you can see this guy is then pumping the rest back through. And it will take a while for it to circulate all the way through. But you can see another one's turned on. And then another one will turn on in a minute um, once it continues cycling through here and, and building up more. It kind of has to, like, buffer up in the pipes a bit. Uh, but we are getting extra. You know, we are getting that 10 extra each time. So... This should start firing more. There, there you go. So you can kind of see this in action now. Um, and we, so we took that off. That doesn't isn't need any more. Plastic is going kind of. Uh, we don't have much petroleum as of yet because not all of this is turned on, and uh, and then the cracking isn't on either. I do want to make sure though that based on this, this may not be anywhere near enough plastic. Actually, <laughs> looking at this, like near enough petroleum rather. Um, we, we may need to greatly expand this. Uh, again, though, this has not started cracking. These aren't cracking yet. Uh, I may have... Did I mess up these ratios? Like, this thing should have... Like, well, these may not all actually be running 100% of the time yet. 
So we'll just give that we'll just give that a little bit of time to kick on. Let's work on the module builds. So I have the blue circuit line coming down right here. The red circuit line comes down here, um, and then uh, and then splits here to go through into the blue circuits. And then we have a green circuit line here. So let's start with the same uh, the same like size build that we have in the main base and. Uh, we do want to leave room for another circuit build right over here. So if we do need to expand the oil, that could be a problem. Uh, we'll have to figure out kind of how to do that on the fly. So I'm just going to kind of line these up with this. Uh, and actually, maybe if we're very lucky, I think I can get rid of that at this point. Uh, I want this. So we need 10. Did, did that not give me? Uh, we need 10. So if we do, because like if we center this, so three so if we do something like this there we go so that should be 10 right here yep okay so these are going to be the level ones and we're I mean, again we're starting with productivity because currently in the base we have uh speed modules going uh cranking away right now so we don't really need two speed model things right at the moment i'd rather get the productivity going um so we have this now we're, we're pretty much just, like I said, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I just line this. Yeah, and that was 10, right? Yeah. So we're just going to kind of go like this. Rock is in the way. I could use my bots for that, but sometimes I just kind of like chopping down the rocks. Uh, let's see. For some, re for some reason, I always think it's in intermediate products. I don't know why. Uh, but we're gonna do that and then let's get some fast inserters. They don't really need to be fast, but Go ahead and do this anyways um, Actually, yeah, let's let's line these up Although would that look better that almost looks better doesn't it? Uh, well, not really because the assemblers are offset a bit So we're gonna do that and then these these we actually could. I don't know. Why did I build these? Had I, was I just brain dead when I built this? Potentially. Oh, it's because we only needed two. For some reason, I thought we needed, like, if, if we could do four, that would have been perfect. Because then we could have just done that, but this won't really work. I mean, we could do this. And these would direct insert, and then those could belt it. We, we could change this a little bit, right? We could, uh, we could, we could change this up. Or not. Yeah, how about how about let's not <laughs> let's not break our, our brains trying to do this uh, I will put them like in the same like offset here but I'll bring them out a little bit and uh, let's go ahead and get those going sweet and then this is just gonna come off of here like that and come down here these can this can easily be a uh, yellow belt. Um, oh, they were long handing and then bleh. Okay, well, it, it really doesn't matter like what side of the belt they're on. It's not like this is super high throughput for these or anything. Uh, and then these are also going to obviously need another belt, which so this will change a little bit, but entirely doable hmm. um no no I, I was I was thinking of some other way I may have wanted to do it but this will actually work fine okay so he's gonna grab that this is gonna be the uh, red and blues here for this like that like that and like that and then we're, what we're going to do is then we're going to split like here and we're going to have, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to have these coming down here. Um, what the thing I, the other thing I'd considered is having this top belt be red and blues and then this machine and these machines could grab from it. But I want it split like instead of like grabbing from if, cause that, if that makes sense, because what would happen is like these guys would grab quite a few and then these guys would grab some and then there'd be like none here and it would throw off the whole thing. Um, th I mean, this isn't perfect, but this does split it like 50 50 uh, theoretically down here So that's kind of the thought process there whether it makes sense or not uh, We'll do that and I mean we aren't really using robots We may at some point though, so I will throw it in a passive provider 
And yeah, so here's that. And then this guy needs to be red and greens, which is going to be a bit interesting because reds come from over there. Um, speaking of reds, why are there no reds here? Is this like broken? Wait, what? Come again? <laughs> what? Uh, like, why did it send all the reds this way? I mean, this is a splitter. That's what this should have done, right? Am I just, like, really dumb? And why is this turned off? Did I seriously, like, broke this already, probably? I don't really know. Um, it's on heavy... Oh, I never hooked up the light oil. So, um... So, yeah, this wasn't quite done. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Almost. Uh, so here's that. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just run this guy here. And then we'll just do that. Not the cleanest, but it totally works. Um, so that should get some plastic moving. I feel like we definitely will need more machines. I am very curious as to why the splitter sent everything that way. Because um, I didn't set like any priorities on this. I mean, because because we didn't... Oh, well, these get... Okay, these did get some. I see. They, they did get some. They just don't have the sulfuric acid, which... Should also be working. I didn't hook it up, but we're also... We're just short on petroleum in general in this setup. So this is kind of why initially I didn't want to do coal liquefaction because... I mean, if this were oil processing, we'd have more than enough petroleum for this whole, for everything we need. Uh, the coal liquefaction is just very inefficient, uh, petroleum-wise. So that that's kind of why I wanted to avoid it, it, like initially. But it's a it's a good dis demonstration for sure. Um, okay, so that needs to be on one side, and then. So what we're gonna do then is. Uh hmm. Can this? Yeah, that doesn't really work that great. Hmm. I mean, I can do this. It's just, it's just going to be really messy. <laughs> so I was trying to avoid it, but uh, I mean, we can certainly do this. It's just, like I said, it's going to be not very pretty. Um, but. It, I guess it's just another one of those things, like, we'll just not really look at this area much. At this point, most of our base is becoming that way, but... Uh, okay, so there's that, and then this one needs to come down and merge with blues. And this actually, I'm, I think I will redo this bit to come the other direction. Uh, because if we do, like, that... Whoop, nope. Bad game. Yeah, dude, there's just nowhere near enough plastic for this. <laughs> this is a little bit of a problem. Um, well, we'll see what we can come up with here. So what we need to do then is just reverse this belt. Let's do that. There we go. And then we'll just throw a splitter like here-ish. There we go, it works a bit better. Yeah, we some we, we really just need to expand that coal liquefaction somehow. I don't know how. There's just there's just nowhere near enough, dude. Like this is just nowhere near enough plastic. Uh I mean once this kicks on, it should be better, but at th at this point. Yikes. Uh because well, I mean how much how much room did I leave here? Like we could we could kind of take a measurement. So this guy needs to come down like there. So yeah, there's not much room. Like I could add a couple more of these. I really kind of wish we did oil. We could do oil in addition. Like we could we could actually do another. Or we could do an oil build like up top and still train in the oil. Um, I could just speed module like everything. I mean that's certainly an option. Um, and productivity it too. I mean, the productivity totally throws off the ratios, which, I mean, the ratios weren't that, they were correct, but they aren't that valid. Uh, I think we'll start with some speeds. So you can put three in each, which means, oh, I do actually have enough. So again, well, I mean, that, that alone is gonna throw off the ratio. If I put them in everything, it shouldn't theoretically throw off the ratio. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, we're at, what's what's going to end up happening is we're actually going to run out of 
uh, or we're gonna run out of space for light oil because now we're overproducing light oil. You can see though that alone um, just ate all the coals is what that did. <laughs> that alone just ate all the coal. Um, so productivity would probably be better. Productivity and we can maybe throw a beacon or so in here somewhere. Although not really, not with how the pipes are arranged. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, the plan, that that's not the plan. Uh, the plan is to, we're gonna merge this. I could merge this in here, but I'd rather merge it in farther down um, where we're actually having the shortage. So like if we take this and we merge it like here-ish, that should kind of help supplement things a bit. Now luckily this coal patch is huge because we, uh, we need a ton of coal. So this actually isn't even getting enough coal. You may want to merge this even earlier, potentially. Close. Um, with these speed modules, I think actually what I'm going to do, this again, this will throw off the ratio. It's kind of like how Factorio goes, though, is you like plan all this stuff out and then it just like completely changes later. So not only will we get extra, this kind of slows it down a little bit too. I mean, it's still 85% increase in speed, but we are getting this little bit of extra productivity. And I, I mean, I could do like one speed and two prods type of deal. Um, what we can do with these extra speeds though is put at least like one extra in these because like I said, we are short uh, on, because we're overproducing the light oil. I just want to make sure this doesn't back up in here. Um, that seemed to help the coal quite a bit. And uh, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's not really great plastic wise. Plastic is pretty much our entire bottleneck in this setup. Uh, okay, so let's finish this guy out. He has everything except the power, so. Uh, these power poles are not like the best position ever, but <laughs> Wow This could actually be done way better There we go Boom and then we'll throw one here oh, Hey, that does reach look at that and then we'll just throw one right here. So this is gonna nom down on all the red circuits, um, big time. Uh, but at least we'll it'll 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 be work. The important thing is that this works completely independently of the science in the main base. So even if we're kind of low on plastic and stuff, this will just be always working as much as it possibly can, without like science taking stuff from it or like beacon production taking stuff from it and all that. Um, this seems to be holding steady in terms of how much is here because we just we just really don't want this to back up is the problem um we shouldn't actually be making any plastic in the main base right now we are actually because we're making red circuits uh but so we're doing 2k plastic a minute i mean actually it almost looks like are we actually filling up no, okay. We're not filling up on petroleum at this point. These have now stopped because they actually don't have enough steam. Believe it or not, that is not something I thought I would have a bottleneck on. So I'm going to throw a bit more steam production on. Oh, it's because I removed some of these because um, we didn't need this much until I, like, crazy moduled it. Um, this is going to break some things for a second. Uh, sure. No. Not like that. <laughs> uh, and actually, while I'm at it, I'm just going to add even more. Usually helps when you turn these the other direction. That's why that pipe didn't line up. <laughs> uh, okay, so this one, this is a little bit wonky. This will stop things that needed water, but 
There we go. And then we're just going to throw some of these guys here. And there we go. So that should hopefully give us enough steam. Um, as long as we don't lose throughput in this pipe. There was actually a really interesting post on the subreddit. Like a couple days ago from one of the devs. Um, asking about like what people didn't like about the current pipe and fluid mechanics. Because he's working on changing them. So that's really good news. Because... Uh, the majority of people commented on that and said that like they don't like it's super unintuitive which is true and it's like um and uh and that like you know the, the throughput the limited throughput is a huge pain and like the sloshing back and forth is a huge pain and then the ups problems they cause which is obviously true as well which is why a lot of mega bases don't do nuclear power um so it's really good news just thought i'd, I'd mention that for anyone who didn't know that. Kind of interesting. Uh, but I think I'm going to call it here, guys. I need to go get some lunch. And uh, we got down what we needed to, which is awesome. So this thing will just kind of crank away. It's a little bit low on red circuits. Uh, I'll figure out some more ways to increase plastic production. Uh, we may throw some prod modules in these. And then we, I think if we rearrange this belt a little bit, we could throw some beacons here too to offset that slowness from the prod modules. But uh, we'll definitely get this thing cranked up. So That'll do it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave any thoughts, comments, questions down below as always. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.